number seven so we want to use integral test to find out whether this series is convergent or divergent first consider the corresponding function f of x equals x e to the minus x clearly this function is continuous everywhere and also positive on the interval 1 to infinity and if we compute the derivative of f we have f prime of x equals e to the minus x minus x e to the minus x which is equal to e to the minus x 1 minus x note that this expression is positive so <coughs> if x is bigger than 1 then 1 minus x will be negative so the whole expression will be negative if x is in the interval 1 to infinity So this tells us that f is decreasing. On the interval 1 to infinity. Okay. Now we have all the requirements to use the integral test. So the integral test says that if we have a function which is continuous, positive and decreasing on the interval 1 to infinity then the series is convergent or divergent if and only if the integral the corresponding interval integral is divergent is convergent or divergent so now we compute the integral 1 to infinity of x e to the minus x dx this is an improper integral at infinity so we write that as a limit of p approaches infinity 1 to p x e to minus x dx now we solving this integral by using integral by parts so we choose this as our u and all of this as our dv it follows that this equals to the limit of d approaches infinity u times v so x if dv equals to this then v itself will be minus e to the minus x okay so this is u this is v minus integral of v du minus e to the negative x du and du will be dx so we will at at pn1 and 1 and d so if we simplify we have the limit of p goes to infinity of minus p e minus p plus e minus 1 okay, plus the integral from 1 to b of e to the minus x dx an integral of e to the minus x dx will be minus e to the minus x so this is equal to the limit of p approaches infinity minus p e to the negative p plus e to the negative 1 minus e minus x evaluated at p and 1 so the limit p approaches infinity minus p e to the minus p 
us hit negative 1 minus e to the negative b plus e to the negative 1 okay we can cancel these two terms no we cannot 